With a new COVID variant emerging this morning, the virus is swirling around the nation and fueling hospitalization numbers. Kaplan Stenissa Sr. reports on what the new COVID-19 surge really means. After months of falling cases, COVID-19 hospitalizations are on the rise for the first time since the beginning of 2023. This slight upward trend has us questioning should the U.S. brace itself for a surge? How bad it's going to get, we don't know. As you know, this is a very unpredictable virus has shown us that over the last three and a half years. It appears the latest COVID-19 variant BA2.86 may not be too vicious this fall, but health experts does warn against letting your guard down. People are more likely to know somebody who might have COVID or may have had COVID themselves, but admittedly, this is hard to validate uh, because there's just not as much testing. No one is fully immune from COVID-19 and cases have proven that just about everyone can test positive for this virus. Earlier this week, First Lady Jill Biden tested positive. A spokeswoman for Mrs. Biden says she's staying in her Delaware home dealing with, quote, mild symptoms. President Joe Biden tested negative. The CDC recommends that people who catch COVID-19 should isolate for at least five days, wear a mask until testing negative twice over a two-day period, and keep up to date with vaccinations. There's going to be a CDC advisory meeting on September 12th. That is the point where this booster may be recommended uh, broadly for the population. We'll see what happens. Reporting for Kaplan News, I'm Tanissa Sr.